welcome back. My new Lion and Post is here. It is so much fun. I highly recommend trying it. If you're not familiar with Lion and Post, it is a try before you buy service. You put things on your queue and when they're available, they'll send them to you to try them on. You can look at the website for the details of exactly how it works. I'll put my referral code below, which will give you $30 to spend at Lion and Post. And if you go in the clearance section, there are some really good prices. My box today, everything is from the clearance section, but there was also, which is over now, there was a 25% off the whole site sale. So if you put things in your queue, they would still be on the sale price. So I have like 28 items in my queue. I'm sure a lot of them will sell out before they actually make it to me. That's fine. But this has really been fun. Let me show you what I got. Let me start with my absolute no piece. And it looked so cute in the picture. This is the Aretha Top from Velvet by Graham and Spencer. It's in a size medium. The original price was $117. I don't know who would pay that for this. My price would have been $35.10. It's 96% tensile. 4% elastic and it is made in the US. Machine wash cold, dry flat. That's not what I don't like about it. It is just so sheer and lightweight. And to me, for a long sleeve turtleneck, yes, you would wear it as you could wear it as a layer, although with the stripes, it's kind of nice to not wear it as a layer. I feel like it's a confused piece of clothing. I don't know. Because it's so lightweight. And it is so sheer. As you'll see in the try-on, like you can see the tag through it. You can see that I have jeans on. I don't know how well that comes out on the screen, but it's pretty see-through. I like the idea of it. It is very, um, it's very flowy and wide, maybe two. It's going back, but it's fun to try different stuff. Shipping both ways is free, cost me nothing to try it, so I'm not mad at it at all. I'm a little more on the fence about the other top. I honestly thought this would be the piece I would be most likely to keep. It is the Lorenza top, also from Velvet by Graham and Spencer, in the color Dutch, size medium. My price after sales would be $28.87, which is nice. It is a sleeveless t-shirt. I can't get sleeveless t-shirts easily in that price range. It's also like pretty sheer. I don't mind that for this kind of shirt. Like being lightweight is actually really nice. I think my, my favorite thing, well, the only interesting thing about it is the collar and it, the neckline does sit really nicely. Pretty much a straight across hem. Kind of a little bit drapey in the fabric. It's not clinging anywhere that you don't want it to cling. It's nice it's fine and twenty dollars is a really great price for anything from from a line in post so i was tempted just on that basis and i do like it on if I owned this piece, I would wear it and I would like it. I was just looking at my spring clothes. Let me know if you want me to do that on video when I pull out my spring clothes. Just moving some stuff around. I was counting my sleeveless tops. I haven't categorized which is which I would consider like nicer tops. I have like 10 to 12 in this general category. There was an alternative apparel one that I got in Burgundy. I got it from Every for about $14. Look. Looking around since then, I've found that Amazon almost always has them in that price range or lower. And I don't know that this gives me something that that doesn't give me, nor am I sure that I need more. So, you could probably talk me into this one. I like it. I don't know. I just don't know if I need it. The jeans, I don't like, but I'm glad I tried them on. I'm really trying to use line and post to just have a chance to try on some different brands of jeans and see how I think things fit on me. And also to give me ideas for what I want to look out for if I'm doing consignment shopping and stuff, like what brands work on me, what brands don't. These are J brand mid-rise skinny. 
It's a little more like dungaree-ish in that it's like not really light, not really dark, and it has the orange thread. Default size to order would be size six, or if you were in the waist sizes, that's usually a 28. They didn't have that. I got these in a 27. I held them up to my American Eagle pants that are size six that I wear all the time. Those are considered high rise, size six. The rise on these is, these are mid rise. The rise is actually I think a quarter inch higher. They're almost exactly the same size and cut, but these are stretchier. So they're super comfortable on. I feel like they fit nicely. I like almost everything, almost everything about them. The pocket placement is okay. I think not stellar. This, I can't figure out what to do with. I'll show it to you in the try on, but I think this is a deal killer. Even though $74.25 is a really good price for J brand jeans. My favorite piece really surprised me. It is the Cecilia sweater. The manufacturer is again. So it was made in China. The J brand jeans are made in China and both tops were made in the US. For me, China is maybe not preferable, but okay. Generally, they're not as much of a developing country as places like Bangladesh and as the ones I pick on, which are Bangladesh and Cambodia, where the labor practices tend to be extraordinarily exploitative. Cecilia sweater by Again. Color is cream, but as you can see, that's not what stands out about it. Size medium, originally 154, but it's 100% cotton. Wouldn't buy a cotton sweater for $154. And I don't usually buy sweaters this time of year. I think I really like this one. It's with the clearance and with the 25% off. It is $46.20. I really like the way the texture, it has like this textural pattern thing going on. My daughter was funny. She's like, that makes me think of the sock monkey. And I said, is that a good thing or a bad thing? She's like, oh, no, it's a good thing. I think I actually really like this piece. I'd love to hear your opinion about it before I make up my mind. I do have seven days. I was honestly, when I first tried on the blue piece, thinking, I'll just keep that. But then when I tried this on and really like it, I could keep both may fill a gap in my wardrobe that the other one doesn't and I also think oh and I love these cuffs they are they're cuffed and they're stitched down so they'll like stay that way and the bottom does not have the contrast which is actually I think fine you don't always want to draw attention to your hips line so I think kind of I think it's cute I wasn't sure which way to, the collar was supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go up. On me, I kind of like it rolled down. I'm not sure. It does, it's like a little bit rough on the side, so I think it is meant to go up. My hair's long enough, it'll cover it, whatever. But I think it's really fun. That's a funny thing to say about like a beige sweater in April. It's hand wash or dry clean, which I'm fine with for a sweater. I would love to hear what you think. This is what I'm leaning toward keeping. Walk me into or out of this one, okay? This has just been so much fun so far. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments and if you've tried Line and Post, whether or not you enjoyed it. But if you haven't, try it. It's really fun and there's no risk to you if you don't like the pieces. Just send them back. Hello, Miss Bailey. Hello. You crazy? Are you a wild woman? Let's get the box out of your way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna say a little hello. We just gonna
Can you say hello, some hellos? We love the hellos. Don't we love the hellos? Yes. Oh, and the hand and the little handwritten note that they always include, even though they don't pick anything out for you, they just put it in the box. But there's always a note. It says, Hello Veronica, excellent choices. The again Cecilia sweater is one of our favorite pieces. The kill on me. Enjoy trying on all your picks. Love L and P. So they're just super cute. And I showed you the box last time. I didn't show it to you this time because I couldn't stand to wait. They do a nice job of packaging and then you just pack it up and send it back. Love this. 